This was the first bank in Ethiopia, here in Harar, under Egyptian rule. What year would that have been? It's, they came here in 1875, they've been in 1877. Hmm. Um, and it was really just a mint. You couldn't go put money in, they, they did the coins. The typical structure, yeah. typical Harar old structure that's now been turned into the visitor site. This is where the owner of the house sat. There's all these different levels. Over here is for the ladies. And in the middle, for the imam. For the imam. All the wedding arrangements mm -hmm. and all the problems solved by the imams. And who sat down in the slowest? Adult main visitor. All right. On the corner, when he's not feeling well, the owner, he slept there. Mm -hmm. Very quiet, not that much uh, sun reflection. He this is where you hung your spear. And he easily controlled the compound from here. If something's happened close to him, he finds his weapon and he will manage all the problems. I just shoot it right through there. Every house have a little bank like that like for that. the owner? It, yeah, early on. Mm -hmm. But now today we have modernized, well, but course. still to remind to re exist every traditional. For a money and jewelry, his wife, her treasure is jewelry. Mm -hmm and different traditional medicine. Mm -hmm. And to put also different seeds. When they harvest this year, they should keep special seeds for the next year. Then every family yes. had four, yes. just like this. And the kids, they cannot go easily. The, uh, the neck too long. Then there is the honeymoon suite. When your newly married people went in there, they stayed. I'll try to show you, it's pretty dark in there. They stayed here for one week, this little close quarters, and food was passed through that opening. Now if the family had an available daughter, they would roll up a carpet and put the carpet up there, which meant they have a daughter available to be married. And then if they had a visitor, the visitor would sit over here, look up, see carpet, and go, aha, a wife, make arrangements. A guest in the ladies section. Ladies only. And you've now seen a typical Adori house. A-D-O-R-I. What was upstairs? The main bedroom for the owner mm. and his wife. This is the butch butchery or, or butcher area. And those are all kites Sometimes lined up up there hoping that they're going to get some meat. But the needs, they're strong meat. They and their donkeys are wandering through the market selling the wood for cooking. Right now they have the water tank to supply water for the people and they pay for a certain amount but in a couple of weeks they're going to have piping and they won't have to worry about that anymore. Every time I see the people carrying these heavy, heavy, what are they, five gallon? 20 liters. 20 liters? Yes. This is where they roast the coffee. Yes. Smells wonderful. This is the original gate. The other one that I showed you was restored. Harara is still completely enclosed, but here you can easily see how it doesn't close the old city. Now within the old city of Harar are 40,000 people who still live here. Wall is three kilometers long. What other facts have I forgotten? So, uh, 1,000 yes. people are the, is the general population yeah. of Harar. There is a mosque. The Grand Mosque was built in the 11th century. However, we are not allowed to enter and it has been Remudded and refurbished every single year and added on to so there really isn't much of the original unless we were allowed to go inside and we are not And over on that side these ladies are selling chat if you don't know what chat is chat is a mild narcotic That is chewed and every afternoon the men get together. Oh, let's say from two or three o'clock on for a chat fest and sit and chew and put themselves in a general happy mood, which you can't blame them. They work. You certainly cannot blame anybody for wanting to get happy. Here is Emir Noor's tomb from the outside, an entire view. Very holy place.
to the Muslims and the population of Harar is almost completely Muslim. And surrounding his tomb are graves of his family. And I just found out, I never knew this, that in a woman's grave, there's a stone in the center. That's how you know that's a lady.